continuing with quality of service and on the uh, priority or preference side um, there are certain uh, well some people call them goals I would tend to think of them as tools that we can use uh, one is dedicated bandwidth that you have a certain amount of bandwidth for the network as a whole and you simply uh, dedicate a portion which uh, may not be used for other than priority or preferential traffic. Um, now, uh, a, a firewall, uh, even a, a packet filtering firewall, as long as you're looking at ports as, as well as source and destination addresses, can do this. Uh, we can just say these packet slots are reserved. Um, they are used for our priority traffic. They are not to be used for other traffic. So you have a pretty much predictable um, latency because you know uh, you can uh, pretty much predict when the next reserve packet is going to become available. Um, now, if all you're concerned about is the marketing side of quality of service, quality of service, then you've got uh, an even simpler task because you just say, okay, these source addresses get to use these reserved packets and the others don't so um so we you know we've got that uh it's a you know possibly heavy-handed approach uh but it's you know it'll do it so you've got you know dedicated bandwidth that's fairly simple um maybe a not the uh, most insightful tool in the world, but it'll do it for you. Um, if you have uh, a mix of traffic, uh, once again, um, you can dedicate certain applications. So there you are probably going on the uh, port addresses, um, so that you, it, you know, it's, it's not impossible to, uh, figure out what the application is. Um, if somebody's doing something weird, uh, then you got a bit of a problem, but, you know, as long as they're using the standard port numbers, um, you know what it is, you know what the application is, uh, and that's, uh, you know, given priority and, Again, in, in terms of uh, latency, the predictability of uh, the next available slot, uh, the uh, jitter providing sufficient bandwidth so that these uh, uh, reserved uh, slots available for specific purposes um, are come frequently enough that we don't have to worry too much about uh, dropping packets, losing packets. Uh, uh, it's, it's not going to be too difficult to reorder and reassemble stuff. Um, the, generally speaking, the internet as, as a whole, we tend to say is a best effort, uh, service. Um, that we, uh, you know, we're, we're going to try our best to get the packets through, to get the traffic, the data through, uh, to support what it is that you want to do. Um, but we, 
you know, if we want to, we can really dedicate bandwidth it so that we have uh, differentiated service. And again, you know, this can be used for uh, priorities in, in sensitivity or availability of traffic, but um, it tends also to be used for marketing purposes. That you, If you want, uh, you know, better service, uh, you pay more. So, yeah, well, uh, you know, and then, of course, there's, there's guaranteed service, which is a complete dedication. I mean, you know, when we're dealing with business continuity, when we're dealing with uh, uh, you know what you know the absolute guarantee of traffic getting through, you know there's all kinds of things that can happen. So guaranteed service is uh, really kind of uh, uh, a false name uh, for some of this stuff. Anyways. Uh, so again, uh, remember the differences between latency and jitter, um, the different types of traffic that are going to um, be adversely affected by uh, either latency or jitter or both. Uh, and, you know, make sure uh, that you are using the, the right tools for supporting the right kind of dedicated, differentiated, or just simply best effort service.